everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lizzie I hope you're doing well feeling well out there um, this is a deceased loved one reading to connect to anyone that you know or maybe didn't know could be an ancestor coming through to deliver you messages um, this is a pickle pile and I tried to do one for the guys out there because I feel like I always have like girly picks <laughs> like girly stuff to choose from so I tried to be a little more geared towards the boys and I'm giving these to my nephew on the next holiday so um which will probably be Valentine's Day I don't know if I'm seeing them for Valentine's Day but anyway pile number one is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator kind of looks like a military vehicle it's got two dirt bikes in the back there I didn't want to open them because I am giving them to my nephew as a gift. So try to make your best assessment. Pile number two, you are the 2010 Toyota Tundra. I've actually seen a lot of these. <laughs> Super cute. And pile number three, you are the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. I feel like I would drive this truck. <laughs> Not really a truck girl though, unless it's a lower to the ground one because I can, one, never reach the fucking pedals, even with the seat pushed all the way up. And I have to run and get a head start. I'm gonna jump in there because I'm fucking sure. <laughs> all right, so pile one is 20, 20 Jeep Gladiator with the two dirt bikes in the back, which I'm sure my nephew will think is totally cool. <laughs> He's only three, so he thinks everything's cool. <laughs> Number pile two is the 2010 Toyota Tundra. Bye bye, I'll pause it if you need to. And pile number three is the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. I mean, if you need more time, go back, pause it, vibe to the object, and we'll get started. Hi there, pile one. You picked the 2020 Jeep Gladiator with the dirt bikes in the back. Super cute. Well, not manly, super manly. I'm not supposed to say cute when it comes to guys' stuff, apparently. Alright, I have two different decks of channeled message cards that I'm going to do live for you, and then I have the rest of your stack already drawn. It took me 30 minutes to do all the piles, so there's a lot for these spirits to say. I'm hearing Hail Mary. I don't know if this person had rosary beads. They prayed a lot if they were Catholic. Doesn't have to be super religious. They could have just, maybe they had to say a lot of Hail Marys in their life. You want to know something funny? Every time I was, because I was raised Catholic, they'd be like, do your Hail Marys. I never did it. Unless they were standing there making me. They're like, did you do them? I was like, yep, sure did. I lied in the church. <laughs> but they were like, say 26 Hail Marys. Like, what is that going to do? God doesn't have time to listen to me say that 27 times. I'm sorry. I repented. I asked for forgiveness. Game over in my mind. <laughs> I was very good at the church thing. I'm not even gonna lie. I got kicked out when I was five from Sunday school. <laughs> That's when it all began. All for asking a question. I was pretty much out when I realized, even at five, that asking a question made them angry. I was thought I thought that they God told us and Jesus said to question everything. And now I can't. I can't say a question. I don't get it. That's how I was. <laughs> it's like they teach you something and then contradict themselves. And I was very confused as a kid. I'm like, what? <laughs> I got kicked out for asking because we learned about forgiveness the week before. And then we learned about the devil and like 
sin and stuff. And I was like, well, if we're supposed to forgive, how come nobody forgave the devil? They lost their fucking minds. And I told my dad that I was a Satanist. I was fucking five. Five. I didn't even know what any of that meant. Anyway. <laughs> let's get your channel. Alright, let's do your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life. Getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from a primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape. <laughs> Pain in the dome. The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape and is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and push back when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you really you don't really know what to expect. What can you know? Is it's time to d dive in and allow that? My vision is blurry and it's not. <laughs> it's not because I'm diabetic. <laughs> this person's fucking with my vision. I don't know if they wore glasses or had bad vision or did get a pain in the head. I could be giving you clues about how they died. It is normal to feel both push and pushback when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner and life, spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We're so proud of you. Look at you leveling up. Good job. You have this new start and you've been putting the work in. So you're up there doing this. I hear applause, applause. <laughs> All right, let's get your channeled messages. I am an angel on your shoulder, watching over you each and every day. You're my pride and joy, and I love you very much. Hmm, so this person watches over you every single day. They're protecting you. You need a timeout. You're so stressed and exhausted. You're overworked and it's affecting your health and your relationships and your happiness. Put yourself first and focus on taking much needed healing time off. So, although you're putting the work in, you're stressing yourself out and they're like, time out. This is not a race, it's a marathon. Rome wasn't built in a day. I say that 9,000 times a day. <laughs> the spirit likes that saying, apparently. All you have, blah, 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 blah. It's really fucking with my vision. You will have a baby. I know you're worried. I know you think you're missing out right now. And that and that it may never come. All in divine timing, my love. You were born to be a parent and it will happen for you. If you're struggling to conceive, when the time is right, you will have one. Don't stress yourself out. <laughs> you beat yourself up so much. You believe you're unworthy of things. You feel not good enough. I say bollocks to that nonsense. You are worthy of all that you dream and all that you wish. You are worthy. You are good enough. Stop being a bully to your own self. The world is cruel enough without you taking swings on yourself. So you're, they're recognizing you're not thinking very good thoughts about yourself. You don't feel like you're worthy of good things. Maybe you're trying to, maybe that's why the Hail Mary. <laughs> Why can't I speak in these disease loved ones? Hail Mary is like, people say that when they're trying to like punish themselves or they feel like they have to repent. You feel like you are owed some suffering, if that makes sense, the spirit is saying. And they're saying bollocks. That's not even an American word. <laughs> so, you are strong, or, oh my God, what? They're like, not only fucking with my vision, but they're fucking with my mouth. <laughs> you are such a good parent. It warms my heart to see you so loving and supportive and kind to your babies. You're unnatural, but I think you're too hard on yourself. Parents make mistakes sometimes, even the best ones. You're doing a great job. You're an amazing parent, and I'm so proud of you. So if you're not a parent yet, this is how they, they think you're going to be a natural. But I really feel like you already have a child and you're trying to have more. 
or you tried to have more and it didn't go well, don't worry, you will have more. You are not a doormat, my love. Do not let them walk all over you and boss you around. Do not let them dictate what you say and what you do. You know your own mind. You deserve to follow your own path. It is time to speak up for yourself. Okay, so something in your life is not good. Although you're doing the work, you're still allowing people who don't serve you to affect your life, this one's saying. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's freaky. I just got chills from head to toe. I'm sitting right next to you. Can you feel me? Can you feel all this love I have for you? So as you're watching this, if you're feeling some tinglies, if you're feeling somebody's in the shorts around you, they absolutely aren't. They're telling you they're sitting right next to you right now for this reading. Hello, spirit. <laughs> I know that my death was very sudden and tragic. I wish I knew it was the last time I saw you or spoke to you so I could have told you how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I just want you to know I'm at peace and I'm watching over you, all those I love. I just want you to be happy and live your life with a full heart. So this person died very suddenly. You didn't get to say goodbye. They didn't get to say goodbye to you. They're referencing they wish they could have um, given you a proper goodbye because I feel like it affected your life greatly. I remember all the times we stayed up late talking for hours. You told me about your day, about your dreams. I love that time together. I love listening to your voice. But what I enjoyed most was you let me in. I miss you. You had a great friendship with this person. They're referencing that you don't let, you're very guarded. Um, you don't let many people in. I definitely don't think you have let many people in since this person died, if anybody. But I just feel like, why am I out of breath? Like, <laughs> I don't know if this person was a runner, but I feel like after a long run, like sweaty, not physically sweaty, but I'm getting the sensation of heat and short of breath. I feel like this person was a runner. I'm so proud of the adult you're becoming. You're growing up more and more every day. You're seeing the truth about what life really means. I want you to be fearless and go after those dreams. Don't stop climbing mountains in your way. You have the strength to do anything. Believe this as truth. You're a very strong individual, um, so I'm proud of the adult you're becoming. They probably left you before you were fully a woman or a man, whichever one you are. I sent it to you. That thing you needed, that person you dreamt of, to show you how much I love you, I brought them in your life. This is the best for you. Trust in me for all I want is what's best for you. So if a person came into your life that you're starting a new relationship with and you're wondering if this is the person that they led towards you, yep, <laughs> if you're feeling a romantic connection, I'm definitely getting the double thumbs up. I feel like it is a person, but it could also be a co-worker, just something, some person that you really needed. Ugh. <laughs> it's getting pain in my head. I just feel like I doinked my head really hard, if that makes sense. I love, I like the word doinked, hit, hit my head really hard. I love it when you talk to me. I hear you, every single word. I love hearing your voice and being a part of your day. I love you so much. I love that you still care enough to say it out loud, like you know I'm still here too. It means the world to me. Hmm. So you talk about them. <laughs> I don't know what's happening and how to describe it. I just want to do this. Like, I don't know if they were found hunched or if they were a, a sloucher. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm just feeling the need to do this. I don't get it. But it's like fast. Like my whole body just... I'm kidding. Maybe you do. Alright. Life will always bend you, but trust me, you are too strong to break. So you've gone through the ringer. You've been through a lot of shit in your life. This, rec this spirit is recognizing it. No matter what, this, pers this spirit is a firm believer. Uh, you're only given what you can handle. And you can absolutely handle whatever comes at you with grace and dignity. I feel like you are working on that and they're recognizing it. 
Every time you thought life would defeat you, you were wrong. So every time, this person's like, every time you get into a rut, like a serious rut, you forget about all the other mountains you've already climbed. You are a mountain climber, figuratively, <laughs> or physically, but life throws you a mountain and you can fucking climb that bitch, okay? Why do you doubt yourself? Remember of all the other mountains you have climbed that you thought, there you are standing looking at the mountain like, I can't do it. This mountain is going to defeat me. And yet you have climbed it. Remember how strong you are and remember you've come through a lot worse. You will never be defeated. You're too strong. You don't know how to fail. I heard you are doing enough. It's going to be okay. You're putting enough effort in. You're doing enough to change yourself. This is not a race. It's a marathon. This spirit is expressing that you don't change overnight. You don't get what you want overnight. Everything is a process. You're still making progress even on your worst days. You are making progress. You just don't see it. The spirit is saying, relax. You're doing that damn thing. It's not going as... You're impatient. That's <laughs> what I just heard. You want things done like yesterday. You want it done your way. That's not how it works, baby doll. It is not how it works. It, does, it happens when it's meant to, not when you want it to. Okay? And things aren't just going to come when you snap your fingers. You need to be patient with yourself and with the crazy world we're in. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. Little star seed I hear. Unicorns to me are unique star seeds, psychic, you could have ability. Embrace your uniqueness, darling. That's what I heard. Darling. Get back to nature and reconnect to your hippie roots. Connect to earth. Ground yourself. Relax. Send out. You're very stressed. Allow unlimited abundance. The spirit's like everything you need. Physically. Mentally, spiritually, it's already here. It's already out in the universe. It's already there for you to collect. All you have to do is believe that you are worthy of it and manifest it into your life. Work on manifesting. Google it. <laughs> Bring peace into your life. Be around people who are peaceful. Follow your own peace. Be a light worker. Go with grace. Go with God. And if you don't believe in God, go with light. Clear cognizance. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. You're kind of like me. Um, sometimes I just, boom, know things. <laughs> it just comes into my head, that spirit talking to me. Um, like creative thoughts and endeavors I want to do that are all given to me by spirit. It's not necessarily that you have to see or hear things. You can just think it. That's your strength. You're a think tank. You can think, um, especially about endeavors, um, entrepreneurship, invention, all those thoughts you're getting, that's guided from spirit. You are safe. This person protects you, and you're going to be okay. Meditation will be very helpful for that stress, the spirit is saying. Again, referencing you are safe. They're going to look after you. They're going to look after your loved one, and through these changes, you're going to be safe. Everything's going to be okay. Take a breath. Listening. Listen to your inner gut. Listen to your intuition. Listen to the signs. Give it to the higher power and stop stressing so much. If you get nervous, focus on service. <laughs> so you are very nervous. Focus on doing things for others and being a light in the world. And not about its effect on you or what's going to happen or what the outcome is. Set forth with a good um, intention <laughs> and it will all work out. Focus on your service. Archangel Michael, he keeps us safe from all negative influences, evil. If you have a lot of toxicity around you. Archangel Michael's coming in to say, I'm one of your guides and I got you. I got you, boo-boo. <laughs> Crown chakra, yes. Follow those thoughts, those downloads you're getting, those ideas. They're given to you by spirit. Crystals might help you relax, might help you get rid of toxicity in your life, the spirit is saying. Guidance systems. They're trying to, the spirit's trying to guide you down a better path and so is spirit. Pay attention to signs. Inspiration board. With all those thoughts you're getting, put it down on paper. Make a vision board. Don't just let yourself forget about it because I feel like you're getting a lot of good ideas or will be soon. Surrender to your soul's path. 
surrender the drama. You have a serious purpose on this earth, a big purpose to do a lot of good. You're nervous about how it's all going to end up and how you're going to change into this new life. Focus on the service. Focus up that big deed. Go with your soul. Go with your gut. Where does your heart tell you? Pay attention to the signs. Spirit's guiding you on your soul path. Surrender the drama. Don't be around people that save the drama for your mama. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I'm just saying that. Just don't be around people who are toxic or make you stressed out. Now's a good time to step back and get away from that and center yourself. Spend time on you. Balance yourself. Exactly. Put that love, self-love, and attention into yourself because you have a big purpose. You're going to be doing crazy things. Now, right this second, is the time to just sit, meditate, let spirit show you what you need to know. Let it out. Let it flow. Open your heart to the feel. That, those ideas out. Write them down. That person they brought into your life, whether it's work or love, go towards it. Or being called into service. Oh, my God. Yeah. You got a, you got a purpose here. You have a soul journey, my friend, out there. And you're being called to stand up and go on that life path. Answer it. You will never regret it. The wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity and compromise. Always have integrity and try to be the peacemaker. You're going to have to compromise in life. You're going to have to give up things. Don't get too attached to earthly things, the spirit is saying. The chess queen, trust and strategizing. Trust in the divine. Make a plan, the spirit is saying. They are strategizing up there on how to help you trust the divine. The eagle king, the big picture, angelic help. Yeah, Michael is definitely stepping in to show you the right path. I feel like you have a lot of um, people around you that affect you or influence you in the wrong way. And they're trying to protect you from that. Trying to help you see the big purpose that you're being called to service. You're being called to, to be that humanitarian you are always meant to be. See the big picture. It's about being of service. Whatever that service is, only you can know in your soul. Are you a creative person? Um, are you going to help people heal with crystals? <laughs> like, are you a shaman? Are you a speaker? Whatever it is that you're being called to do, answer it. And follow their lead. You have blossoming abundance. I feel like everything you need is going to be um, coming to you. If it hasn't already with this three, it's a divine purpose. You can manifest what you need. And the spirit, the spirit and angels will help you. Oh my God, another Archangel Michael. Michael is with you with you hardcore you're not supposed to have a favorite angel i love them all dearly i do they're all important to my in my life but when i die i'm definitely going to spend a day with archangel michael because I, I feel like he does a lot of kicking booty hootie and he's very busy they all are i can't have favorites but i kind of i'm human <laughs> i'm sorry other angels out there i love you all but I want to work with Michael when I die. You have a broken heart. The spirit is recognizing. Broken heart about love and broken heart from their death still. Ooh, Archangel Metatron is also with you. There, Metatron's with you when you are doing your soul's work, going on your work, worth. Um, when you're about to go on your journey. Metatron is what guides you into your spirituality, in my personal opinion. So Metatron is trying to help you become more spiritual and start that life path. And Michael is keeping negativity away from you and trying to keep you out of being sucked into a dark abyss. But the spirit up here is saying you're, you're going to have a storm coming. Um, those toxic people, places, things are going to give up, give you a fight because... You're a light. You're a light worker. And what is the one thing that evil always tries to do? Snuff out the light. <laughs> They're trying to snuff out your light. Don't let them. You got all these angels around. You got the spirit. You will be safe. You follow your gut and your intuition and nobody else. You need to listen to yourself. It's going to be rocky. All change is rocky. But you're going to be okay. Ace of Swords. This is about you standing in your power. Also, communication coming in strong and quickly from spirit. Take back your power. Take back your sword. <laughs> like, if you will, you know, the sword of the, in the stone story, you're the one that can pull 
sword from the stone and do something. Knight, noble, pure intentions. You take that sword and you be noble. You don't let any negativity affect you. Six of swords in reverse. They're recognizing that you're not moving away. You're not laying down um, your fight and moving away from that negativity. I just feel like you're a little bit um, confused, so you're not really making any movement. To me, this is like people wanting, like you got the Ace of Swords, right? It's like giving up your past to move towards your future. You're not willing to give up your past yet or give up something in the past. You're not moving away from what no longer serves you for what does. Spirit is definitely recognizing your refusal to move, especially this spirit. Six of coins. Maybe you're waiting for a sign or you're waiting um, for what you need to move on. You could be in plan mode here, thinking of your options. Two of coins. You feel like you have a debt to pay. Like with those Hail Marys, you feel like you deserve to suffer, that you're unworthy. And Spirit says that this Spirit particularly, particularly thinks that's a bunch of bullshit. You have suffered a lot in your life, and just because somebody else is hurt or unhappy with your decisions doesn't mean you have to sit and wallow and suffer. Maybe you're trying to pay off some debt as well to move forward. That could be. Eight of Cups. Going on, you're feeling alone. Like you're going out there alone like spirit isn't with you. They are. You're not, you're never alone out there. You are a light worker. You are never alone. But I feel like you're going, you feel like you're struggling alone. The people in your life currently around you aren't supporting you. Or this is you feeling like a lot of people are depending on you. And you got to go out there on your own and shine. So you might be feeling the pressure. Knight of Swords. This is you riding into battle, prepared to fight for yourself. Um, gaining that strategy and what you need to fight your war, which is the storm warning. It's like you gaining your courage, gaining what you need. You feel like you have to go out there and protect and represent. You are feeling a lot of pressure. Just not feeling worthy enough to ride into battle. You feel like you have to suffer a little bit. Or you are suffering in silence. <sighs> Super heavy. Overall message is this person says you are deserving of things. They did send a person into your life. Um, the angels are around you to protect you from this negativity. Um, you're getting a lot of good ideas. You're getting driven to go down your soul journey. Listen to it. Um, let let them guide you. Where your soul is being pulled, go. Don't question it. Don't be unwilling to give up things because what you're giving up is only going to make room for what's better. So I hope this was helpful, pile number one. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help my channel grow. Talk to me in the comments. I appreciate your time and all the love you give me and I really hope this gave you the answers you needed in this time. See you next time. Love and light. Hi Pile 2, you picked the 2010 Toyota Tundra. Super cute. <laughs> Alright, now I have two separate channel message decks I'm going to do live for you. And the rest is pre-drawn. Give it a quick a shuffle. I have to do that in between. making sure <laughs> I didn't forget to hit pause, unpause. I actually did that before. It's got a hummer. This one likes to hum. Maybe they hummed while they cooked or cleaned or whatever they did. Could have been male, female, not getting any specific vibes. I just felt the urge to hum. <laughs> this one's a bit bubbly. Like happy. It's probably a talker. <laughs> they either talked a lot or they were 
a person of few words. It could go either the extreme one or the other. Just overall have a happy like nature. I'm getting a serious vibe though. Okay. Moving stuff around. can't describe how much they're messing with my hands. Uh oh, maybe this one did magic tricks or like to shuffle cards maybe. Maybe they played cards. Okay, let's start with your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, the common sayings be in the world, but not of it, and wear the world loosely, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not being attached to specific outcomes. Do not take this world too personally, for you are one of many co-creators here to play, and we have many ideas about how all this should play out. Just know the outcomes don't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through life. There's a real freedom in knowing and accepting this. So will you wear the world loosely or will it straightjacket you? It is your choice. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you were meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan. Loving you always and forever. Don't be so serious. <laughs> All right, let's get your channeled messages. Grief is not something you can talk yourself out of or put on a shelf for later. You need to allow yourself to feel it. You need to stop trying to control your emotions. You're human, not a rock. It's time to face it and get some help. So you are grieving something currently in your life. I'm not sure if it's this person's death or um, could be loss of a job, loss of a relationship, loss of a child, loss of another person in your life. But grief is prevalent and you're the kind of person that shoves it down almost like soldier mentality. Um, you just don't feel like you're not somebody who's willing to show emotion or you have a difficult time and you just push that grief down and the spirit is recognizing you need to stop doing that and allow yourself to grieve and process it because it's hindering your mind, it's hindering your life, and it's hindering your heart. I often think about all the times we sat and talked. Sometimes we talk deeply and sometimes we talk nonsense, but talking to you is the highlight of my life. Just to sit with you and hear your voice, your laugh filled, filled me with so much joy. It meant everything to me. You mean so much to me. I just wanted you to know that. Okay, this is going to be for a small few. Um, I don't know if it's the spirit or they just, they're popping in. But I feel like um, this was somebody you went to war with uh, that lost their life. I'm not sure if they lost their life in war or when they got home. But... They really sit and think about all the times that you were like shooting the shit or going through hardships together. But like I said, that's for a small few. I don't know if it's the whole reading, but that's just coming out right now. <laughs> I have to tell you what I'm hearing. Hello, it's me. You wanted to hear from me and here I am. Yes, I think you should go for it. Yes, I think it's a good idea. Yes, I think it will go your way. You wanted a sign. I say go for it. So there's something in your soul, whether it's work, love, or life, you've been talking to this person about it, <laughs> or at least thinking about it a lot, and you wanted a sign from the universe, and this person is coming in to deliver that sign that you needed. You're struggling right now, but you're not telling anyone, and you're not showing it. Honey, we all need help at times. 
Oh, they're saying don't say honey. <laughs> I feel like this is a man talking to another man. It might not be. It take what resonates to you. We all need help at times. It's not weakness to reach out. It takes a strong person to admit they're struggling. That's how you survive adversity. Time to ask for help right now. I have a feeling it's about this grief that you're pushing down. You're struggling. It's overtaking your mind, your life. You could even be suffering from PTSD. Overall, it's hindering your life and how you're living. And you can't control it anymore. Um, you might outburst and do something you regret or it's going to affect you in a way you're not going to be able to come back from eventually if you don't get help for it now. The spirit is saying... It's not weak to ask for help. It's weakness to sit knowing you need help and say nothing. That's weakness. You've got to let that go. You need to let go of the resentments, anger, and feelings of ill will towards your family. Life is too short to spend it working against your own. Blood is thicker than water, and family is special. It upsets me so much that you're being so cruel and mean to one another. It breaks my heart because I know you're all so much better than this. Please try to make nice. Please try to change. So either this person um, knew your family and knew your family well and is seeing a relationship deteriorate. I'm hearing specifically with siblings. I also have a female energy stepping forward. This could be a mother, a grandmother, somebody who's recognizing that their kids are not getting along. I feel like two spirits are here, if that makes sense. No one is perfect. No one gets it right every single time or even the first time. That doesn't mean you shouldn't get back up and swing for the fences again. Dream big. Shoot for the moon. You either succeed or you learn. You have to make the most of your life. Life's too short <laughs> to wallow and not go for things out of fear. I feel like this buddy's coming in like, don't be a scaredy pants. <laughs> go for it. You're being called. You, you have this idea or... Maybe you want a new person or a new job and you're just thinking like, no, I can't, you know, I'll never change. I won't be able to do it. I'm, I'm not worthy of it. I'm not good enough. They're recognizing all these thoughts and they're just like, that's fear talking. Don't let fear ruin, ruin or rule your life. Wow. I just got a strong force to my back. Maybe shrapnel. It's like, <laughs> it was very quick. So I feel like um, it could have been a quick explosive, explosive with shrapnel. I don't know if they died from that specifically or if they were wounded while they were with you. Also feeling like a, a whiplash. I have two spirits here, so I'm going to say both. While you sleep, I kiss your forehead so gently. You're my favorite person to visit. I love you so much. That's the female energy coming in to kiss you goodnight. <laughs> you are a very good friend to me. I adore you so much. Thank you for always listening and being there for me, even when I was at my worst. I love you very much, and please know I'll always be here for you too. That's your battle buddy out there your military friend they loved your friendship you were like their best bff <laughs> like their best friend i'm still your best friend i heard i'm still here i love that you still talk to me even though you can't see me you know i never left you i hear you every time every word i read your letter i keep it close to my heart thank you so much for all your love for all the joy you brought to me for always keeping me close in your heart Please know for you, I do the same. I talk to you too. I hold you close to me always. Okay, so this is for one person that you lost two separate people. Or, again, it could be two groups. Take what resonates. I'm only the... That's weird. I heard radio chatter. Like, uh... Over and out. Psh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I don't know if they were a comms guy or they're trying. As I was saying, I'm just the translator. I heard over and out. Psh, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe they were a translator themselves. But I feel like you either lost a female in your life and lost a battle buddy. 
or this is two totally separate things, but I, both of these spirits got a letter and both of these spirits are recognizing you talk to them as if they're still here at some points when you're going through things on holidays, when you think about them. I visit you often in your dreams at night. I try to give you some much needed advice and direction when you need it most. Definitely the military person and the female. You might be dreaming about both. I miss you so much, but I want you to know that I'm okay. I'm not lost or scared or alone. Don't worry about me. Oh, they both died suddenly, these spirits. I really feel like a blast happened. I don't know if you're both caught up in it or you were apart when this happened. I just see an image of you think that they're overseas just wandering around like a lost spirit trying to come home because maybe um, there wasn't much to bring home of them or anything. It could be they were disintegrated because I, I felt like it could even been a plane crash, like an impact, but it came from behind. Or it could have came at the direction, just felt like behind, but I don't feel like it was frontward. That makes sense. And just things like sticking in, like those assholes that put a bunch of nails and screws in the bomb so when it explodes, it like shreds everything. Or if they just literally, I don't know what happened. And for the female energy, I do feel like a whiplash could be an auto accident or even a plane accident. Plane crash, I mean. Revenge, getting even, one-upping each other, the blame game. All of it is ugly on you. Stop this right now. I raised you better than this. That's the female energy again expressing their kids are not being nice to each other or family is fighting, they don't like it. You're trying to one-up each other. You're trying to get even. You're trying to hurt the other one. And you're literally getting nowhere. And it's literally breaking their heart. It's okay to be uncomfortable. It's okay to be scared. You will see, succeed in spite of these feelings. It's okay to be scared. But use fear as a tool, the spirit is saying. You've gone through so much worse. You're very uncomfortable with how you feel. With dealing with your grief. Um, about changing your life. I just got really winded. <sighs> I don't know if you ran a lot with this person on pile one. I felt the same thing, like a runner. Just breathless. Just because you feel like trash doesn't mean you are trash. You're feeling like shit. You're very depressed. Dark night of the soul. This is what you need help with. Guilt. About your buddy dying. Guilt about this female dying. Eating your soul. It's time to get help for that. Trying your best is all that matters. The rest will fall into place. Just get up every day, the spirit says. Get yourself dressed. Do something productive. Go for a run. Eat some food. Take a shower. Put some self-love. Even if you feel like shit, keep moving. That's all you can do. Just keep moving and go get the help you need. With every challenge you meet, you gain experience. Every day you're leveling up. You feel like you're way down here <laughs> because that's your depression and your anxiety lying to you. You are moving up the ladder. You are changing and evolving. You just don't see it. Write down your goals and dream big. So you are having a lot of ideas. They did say they want you to go for it. Maybe a dream journal or journaling how you feel will help you. Look for signs and synchronicities. 11-11 <laughs> -11 to me is twin flame. They could be trying to bring love into your life or love of your career. Pay attention to the signs. They're speaking to you. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. Let that self out of the box. Stop hiding yourself. Stop hiding your emotions. Stop suffering in silence. Be your real self. Speak your truth. I am having a hard time. I am suffering. I can't let go of the fact I have survivor's guilt. Those words need to come out of your mouth. If you can't say it to anyone in your life, go say it to a professional. They're not going to lock you away. I heard they're not going to lock you up. And you're not going to be in a straitjacket <laughs> just for getting things out of your body. Gifts from God. You could be gifted yourself. You could be a medium. Or you just have gifts coming that you don't see yet. 
<laughs> Clairvoyance, yeah. <laughs> you definitely have a gift. I don't know if you hear things or if, you, like, I don't know if you're, like, watching TV and have a sign like you see. Like, I think it's your friend, your battle buddy, or it could be this female, like, they just walk by and by the time you look, there's nothing. But out of your peripheral, you could swear that you saw somebody walk by. I feel like that happens a lot. Or if you hear them, <laughs> or if you, you could be hearing signs at the battle that you were in. You could be hearing, like, it's so quick and light and faint, you almost think that you're crazy. Or you're just hearing things, but it really is that. Courage. Have the courage to go for, forward and ask for that help and get the help you need. Also have courage in going towards your dreams. Trust yourself. Trust the divine. They got you. Trust these spirits. They'll lead you where you need to go. Lean on your creativity. I feel like you're having a lot of creative thoughts in this time. Turn your light on. Shine bright. Shine like a diamond. <laughs> I'm hearing Rihanna's song. Follow what makes you shine. Who uplifts you? Who makes you feel good? What job do you do that makes you feel good? That's all you need to ask yourself. And just go towards those people that make you feel warm and welcoming and light. Go for that job that makes you feel like you're doing something good. Follow your light and shine from the inside out. You need to free yourself from all these bad feelings. Heal away addictions. You could be drinking. I feel like you are drinking to heal and numb. Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in a positive way. Take charge of this PTSD slash depression slash grief. Take charge of going towards somebody you love or something you love. Stand up now. Time to get up now. I'm hearing. Be willing to forgive. Forgive your family members. Stop fighting. Bring the peace. Life is too short. The answer is you need probably has something to do with books. Maybe you're reading a lot. Maybe you should read some self-help books. I'm getting all of those. Mirror. It's time to look in yourself, your true self in the mirror. I'm suffering. I'm not happy where I'm at. I'm not happy what I'm doing. I need a change. I need help. Look at your own reflection and stop trying to cover up the truth. Casting spells. Maybe you're trying to manifest or maybe you deal in Wicca. It could be. I just feel like you're trying to manifest with all these hearts. Maybe you're feeling lonely or you're feeling stuck and caged in a love situation that's not right for you. Surrender to low self-esteem. Feeling like you deserve to suffer because your friend didn't come home or because someone died and you didn't get to say goodbye or because this lover beat up your self-esteem, I'm hearing. Surrender it. You don't deserve to feel low about yourself. You don't deserve to have survivor's guilt. You were meant to survive. You have things left to do on this life. It's not your fault that they didn't come home. It, listen, when your ticket is punched, there's nothing anybody can do to stop it. Not even God himself will intervene in when your time to die is. Death will come for us all. We cannot run it. Don't be scared of it. It's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you whether you realize it or not. It's nothing to fear. The other side is so much better than here. So much better. They're okay. It was just their time. It's not your burden to carry their loss forever. You need to let it go. You are deserving of things. You are deserving to be happy. You are deserving of true love. You are deserving of loving your job. You are deserving of having a happy family that gets along. Surrender to divine timing. Everything happens when it's meant to. These people were meant to die. There's nothing you could do. It's out of your control. You're so focused on, I could have done this. I should have done that. I could have saved them. I could have helped them. I could have done this better. I could have loved harder. Everything happens for the way it's meant to. Relationships fall apart because they're meant to teach you something. People die because that's their time. Jobs end because they weren't meant to be your dream job or, or stick in your life. People come in your life and leave because they aren't meant to be there. Everything happens exactly as it's meant to. Stop digging in so hard because it's hindering your life. 
Be authentic. Be yourself. Stop trying to be what you think this soldier image is. That you're not supposed to feel emotions. That you're supposed to have your shit together all the time. That you're supposed to be put together. That you're supposed to be the provider. That you're supposed to be strong. Mm, that's bullshit. <laughs> not, uh, no. You're a human being. You feel things. You have emotions. You're going through trouble. You're going through hardship. Just have the courage and the conviction to stand up and say, you know what? I am struggling. I don't have my shit together. It's okay to do that. Society has taught you that it's not okay. Well, it's bullshit. They're lying to you. They're brainwashing you. Stop listening <laughs> to that bullshit and be your authentic self. If you feel like staying in your PJs all day and sleeping on the couch, maybe you need it. Stop beating yourself up. I just spent two weeks feeling sorry for my fucking self. Do you think I feel like shit because I felt something? That Do you think I feel weak about myself because I struggled? Nope. I feel stronger admitting my truth and not being fake, if that makes sense. Being fake weakens you. Walk your own journey. You're not like anyone else. You're not going to do things the way other people do. Do you, boo-boo? Stop trying to follow other people's maps. No, get your own map, okay? You can do it. <laughs> you are healing your heart. You are healing every day even if you aren't realizing it. You're getting stronger by the day as in recognizing that this isn't working for me. I need some help. At least you're admitting it mentally. They're recognizing that. It's time to say it verbally and do something about it now. The phoenix, rising in that courage, Stand in your power. Rise up. Time to get up. The resting tree. Have patience in the stillness. In the world that, with it being shut down, it's a good time to dig into the things we need to fix. And privacy. Be patient. Be still. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to grieve. The diamond dreamer. Material wealth. True prosperity. You will be prosperous, like you're so focused on 3D, money, God had the best of the best, being a provider. The Spirit is saying you're like trying to be something you're not. <laughs> we're, sh we're all struggling in the world right now. We all are, even if you have money. You might be struggling with being stuck in your house. But everybody is right now, today, 2021, we're all struggling with something. You're not special. Stop acting like you're special. Like you got all your shit together because you don't. You can't lie to me. I'm a psychic. I'll call you out. The spirit, <laughs> this male spirit's like, call them out. Do it. <laughs> They're like trying to light a fire under your ass. Follow your happiness. The sun is a good omen. You're going to be okay. Balance yourself. Accept the good parts and the bad parts of yourself. We all have flaws. Create that strategy. Dream up that map of your own. Like they said, get your own map. Start drawing that map. As in, what career do you want? What kind of relationship do you want? Where do you want to live? Picture yourself getting out of this funk. How am I going to get help? What counselor am I going to? What support group am I going to? Strategize. Rest and rejuvenation. You're very tired in the soul. Very heavy in the soul. You're carrying so much weight. Your rucksack is like 9,000 pounds and your body's like, oh, I can't take it. <laughs> it's time to drop the rucksack, okay? Door to spirit. Open your heart to the divine and know that they got you. You open the door when you allowed these people to attach to your soul and then you lost them. They didn't close the door. They're still there. They visit you all the time. Let's close it out with some tarot. Woohoo! Two of a cup. Hello. Bring, oh, 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 okay. They're trying to bring love into your life. Two of cups. They're leading you towards a person. Like, yes, I think it's a good idea. You should go towards this person who fills your cup up. Seven of swords. <laughs> Maybe you have to steal them from someone. <laughs> Maybe you need... Something that was promised to them. You could be trying to steal gl glory from other people. But I really feel like you, you're feeling like you want to come and steal them from someone else. 
It's a heavy burden now. You're carrying such a load. Or maybe someone stole your cup of, your two of cups. Oh, okay. So, going, I thought this was going to be a happy one, but it is, it's happy and sad. So you found someone who you thought was your two of cups. You could be married in a long-term relationship. They stole from you. They stole your happiness. They stole your life. It's been a fucking burden. It's breaking your spirit down. You're feeling caged and stuck. Like, oh, I don't want to be here. But there is someone out there pulling on your heartstrings, these spirits are saying. They're bringing true love into your life. They're trying to get you to do something about it. But you feel like going towards them would make you a traitor. Um, maybe you would have to break vows here. Feeling like there's a lot against you. Everyone's against you from getting this love. Or they could be against your lover as well. A lot of animosity, a lot of fight. Just going through some shit. Follow your, follow, okay, I'm just going to take two cards. Who fills your cup up? Who are you in love with? That's all that fucking matters. Don't worry about everyone else. They're fucking problems, okay? If they don't like you for who you love or what decisions you make, they're not meant to be in your life. Don't fucking worry about it. Just bring peace and love and light all around you and everything else will fall into place. You ain't got to be Mr. or Mrs. Popular. You ain't got to be well liked. You just have to like yourself and find someone who matches you and your vibrations and your passions. You feel me out there? Pile <laughs> number two. I hope that was helpful. Um, like I said, there's two spirits that came through for you. I don't know if it's two separate stories or they're both for you. Female energy, male energy. Male energy is definitely a soldier. Um, I hope that was helpful. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Talk to me in the comments. Help my channel grow. I appreciate you so much. These spirits have so much love for you. Basically, their overall message is get up and follow what lights you up inside. Get up now. Get the help you need. Um, you're going to be okay. Trust in the divine. Stop questioning things and get up and start doing things. So, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> I love you all. I appreciate you so much. And hang in there. You're going to be okay and you're doing fine. But, it's time to be your authentic self. It's time to say, I need some help. I can't do this by myself. Time to, time to man up or lady up. <laughs> we all have to do it. It's a pain in the fucking ass. I'll be praying for you, pile number two. See you next time. Love and light. Number three, how are ya? <laughs> you picked the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. Super cute. <laughs> Alright, so I have two decks. I'm going to channel messages from. That's the one thing I'll do live because I like to do something live for you. I heard speech, speech impediment. <laughs> this person could have had a speech impediment, or maybe you do. It could even be um, a cleft lip here. Or a birthmark removal. <laughs> I'm hearing some weird stuff, but everything's a detail for you. Something about right here. Could have broke their nose a few times. <laughs> or maybe that's where they had a uh, birthmark. Luckily, I never broke my nose, surprisingly. <laughs> Pretty good at blocking my face. My ears and my neck. Well, I protected my ears because I didn't want the backs or ears. Didn't always work. <laughs> but I got hit in the neck a lot. I had sick reflexes, but apparently not for my jugular. <laughs> I 
My arms and legs are always massively bruised. <laughs> Maybe this person liked LMA. I don't know why I'm talking about it. <laughs> I try to forget about this part of my life. Doesn't match my hippie zenness anymore. <laughs> I did this while I was very angry and unhealed, fighting my, with my way of venting, but I'm healed now and I just I ain't about that scene anymore. Not judgy, not saying you can't enjoy a good fight on TV if you want, it's just, I don't, I cringe in fights now, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't like watching people get hurt. I don't know, I changed, shit happens. <laughs> postcard from spirit dearest you if you allow your awareness to settle in you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you you will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world the receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition which is not your sixth sense but your first the primary navigation navigational system of your soul you are entering the age of consciousness Wow, I just heard, heard, I just felt a crack right across my cheekbone. I think this person was a fighter. <laughs> Ow, sucker punch, god damn it. I'm not even looking up at <laughs> there, Okay, where was I? We will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is... Ah, motherfucker! I don't like this energy. And my incense went out. That's no bueno. Takes a powerful being to knock out some white sage. I felt a bite. I <laughs> my chin. <laughs> Fuckers. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is to discover these essential truths here on earth, where we all agreed to play. Today, trust your spidey sense. Read between the lines. Tune in to the stories behind the stories, and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we are right here, and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. <sighs> I'm here. I'm feeling weight. To me, that's my sense that you might be um, being haunted or being affected by dark energies. You can communicate with spirit. You're a medium yourself. Hi, medium out there. I don't know if you're open to this. I just saw a large dark mass shoot across my room. I don't fucking play with that shit. We're gonna get the big guns out. <laughs> Not allowed in my fucking house. Shouldn't allow it in yours either. Little medium out there. I don't 
only match my the spirit <sighs> might have something negative attached to it or you do it's fucking with my sage man this was just roasting super strong it didn't take much to land it fighting I'm going to have to put my figurative boots on for this reading. They're trying to oppress here. I don't know if the spirit is trying to show me what you're going through or if this fucker is fucking with me, but... Crazy to me. Like I barely touched this with my liner and it went because it's super dry and look at I'm finding Don't want me to sage. <laughs> Guess what? I'm gonna sage any goddamn way. Alright. I'm just gonna let that burn. We'll be alright. Let's get crack a lacking. I got a spirit with a message. Sorry, all over my board. Don't give up on yourself. This is just a speed bump. You can get past it if you keep a level head and take it one step at a time. You got this. I'm here helping you through it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Do you get bit? Are you getting bite marks? Not like bug bite, like teeth marks or scratches. But you just suffered a loss here um, to your career, I'm hearing. It's just a speed bump. It will pass. Don't worry. You will always be special to me. You will always be my favorite person. You will always be my first pick. You'll always be in my heart. And I'll always be in yours. You and me against the world. Always. That might have been a phrase they said to you forever and always. You, you and me against the world. I'm definitely hearing that repetitively. <laughs> Repetitive. <laughs> Maybe they do have a speech impediment because I can't speak. Listen, motherfucker. Mm, there's a lurking, lurking dark energy here. I don't fucking like it. Don't fail me now, Sagey. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. You're hurting so much and it breaks my heart. I miss you so much too, but I never left you, sweetheart. I'm still here. I'll always be here. I know it's not the same, but I need you to know that I'm okay and that you're going to be okay too. My life ended. It doesn't mean you're, you get to stop going on with yours. It's all going to be all right. This person also had spiritual gifts. Did you grow up in a haunted house or do you live in a haunted house? Like, I don't know if you always felt oppressed. But something stuck to you before you were even born. And it had something to do about where you grew up and lived. Hissing and growling. Yeah. Came around wrong with my fucking house. <laughs> my, my spirit gods and angels, you don't want to play with them. They're vicious. I would never want to go to war with them. My house, my rules there, and won't be allowed to say it. Look at how, how much this is burning now. See? They're going away. My gods are good. 
It will not affect your reading. It will not allow it. Choke on it, mother <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank you, spirits. You're trying to drown, drown out your numb. What the fuck? No. You're trying to drown out and numb your pain. You're ignoring the reality of the situation. It's getting you nowhere. Time to stop ignoring the red flags. Time to stop drowning your sorrow. Time to face the music. Enough is enough. This is about a relationship. Even a job. I'm at peace with all your loved ones that went before and after me. And all the pets too. I was never alone and you will never be alone. Don't worry about me. Don't wonder where I am or if I'm alright. I went home. I'm okay. I'm happy and I feel fantastic. Stop stressing so much. So I feel like they're earthbound spirit. Like they're stuck here. Um... This dark, en dark energies in general can take the form of people that you love. They can take the form of children. Their whole point about them is parlor tricks. Trying to fuck with your mind. Trying to make you see... I feel like you see this person suffering and they're really not. This is this dark thing that's attached to your soul. You need a home blessing. You need a personal blessing. And you also need to bless... The outside of the grounds of your property. You've got to. This thing is so attached. It's going to just keep following you. So wherever you move to, you're going to have to redo these rituals. You might have to redo your home every couple months. This thing is nasty. A new job or career is coming for you. Don't worry. Don't stress so much. It will all work out. Just enjoy the downtime for now and keep putting yourself out there. Opportunity is coming. So you are gonna, you did take a loss with work and career. New new stuff is coming and it's gonna be good. I don't want them to put this in before my reading's done. Sorry, I don't play around with these fucking things. I know I keep pausing, but my spidey senses are going the fuck off and not in the good way. <laughs> Get over it. You're clinging to your anger and pride. It's clouding your judgment. You're making the wrong decisions. Stop, think, and learn. I know you're so much better, you just can't see clearly right now. You're angry about what you lost. You're angry about this work endeavor. I also feel like you're angry at a lover or a love heart situation. I don't like seeing you cry. I wish you could feel me holding you tight. I'm here. I just can't seem to get through to you. I'm working hard to show you I'm all right. Please don't cry, my heart. I'll always be near you, protecting you and loving you. So this person is trying to show you that this dark entity is just trying to fuck with you. <laughs> they're not suffering. They're not scared. They're not in pain. This is an illusion, um, whatever this thing has over you. You've got to let it go because it's taking power away from you. Be strong. They will try to test you break you or get you to forget who you are don't let them remember who you are see the truth don't let them shake you up stay calm use your smarts be strong against this entity but i feel like as much as i hate to say it i feel like there's somebody in your life that's sicking these things on you like wishing you ill could be even doing spell work against you you've just been susceptible to spirits since you were very young um, so, I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. When you're a light in the world, the evil just wants to snuff you out even more. So you've had several things trying to snuff you out in your life. This thing is making you mentally weak. And some, somebody in your life is aiding that. Wishing you unwell, wishing you would fail, doing spells on you. Some hoodoo shit. I'm not going to shrink a coat for you. Death was not my end. You need to know. You got, a, you got a frenemy out there who pretends to be somebody you love. Pretends to be your friend. But is really trying to fuck you over hard. And they could even be a gypsy and use gypsy magic. Which, honestly, I don't feel much good about some of that dark gypsy shit. I know that 
sometimes they use dark to heal, but don't fuck, don't fuck around. Death was not my end, but my savior. My body was very painful on this earth, but not. But now I'm weightless and painless and free. Please be happy for me. I have no regrets. I suffer no more. This person was very haunted in their life. This might even be their evil thing still trying to fuck with them and, and death, but they can't because they went home. She could be just trying to show me the heaviness and the oppression. She, it's a girl, I didn't even mean to say that, could have be showing me the oppression they felt in life. This could be residual. You ran from love because you remember how much I mattered to you and how much it hurt when I left. You vowed no one would ever be that important again. No, no, no. That hurts my heart so much that you're so guarded to love. That is not what I wanted to happen. This is not the real you. You're just scared. Death happens. It's not a good enough reason to avoid love or reject love. So you ran from love because you didn't want anyone to ever be that important again and break your heart. Your heart's been shattered. You don't allow people to come in and shatter again. And the spirit is saying, that's not a way to live. Love is, all the currency you have in death is love. All your things, your money, whatever is around you, that's all bullshit. And it's not important. Who loved you and who did you love and the memories you made. That's all that goes with you. I'm a version of you from a past life you lived. I've come to tell you that our karmic lessons are closing out in your life. Justice will come to us all because of you, because your fight to better this life. We're here with you, protecting you and cheering you on. Thank you for all you do. Oh shit, so you have an ancestor you never even met coming through with a sweet little message. So you're going to be um, learning those karmic lessons that your other past lives couldn't seem to learn. So good for you. You are important. You matter. You do matter. You deserve good things. You have an important purpose. Your struggle is not an indication of failure. You're not a failure. We all struggle. We all have mountains to climb. And sometimes we get to the top of the mountain and we slide back down and we got to climb up it again. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means you're not done with that mountain because you still have something to learn. It's okay to struggle. You're doing better than you feel like you are. So you're definitely struggling. The spirit is recognizing it. You're not seeing your own progress that you have come so far and you've grown and adapted so much. I know you feel anxious, but you forgot the part where you totally got this. <laughs> Whatever you're facing, you got this. In the back, believe it in your heart and soul. Keep your thoughts positive. If you're trying to manifest, you got to have po positive thoughts. You're also, if you are dealing with dark things, you got to keep your thoughts process very positive because they will feed on um, self-consciousness, depression, bad thoughts. Journal it out, write how you feel. You need to start getting um, toxic feelings and thoughts out of your body. Um, the spirit is recognizing maybe a journal would be good for you. Be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to go your own way. Don't be afraid to embrace your spiritual gifts and run with it. We all have to I had to make that decision. I come from a very religious family, and I just stood up and said, I'm a psychic medium. I know none of you believe in that. You probably laugh about me when I'm gone. You probably talk shit, but this is my life calling, and I'm going for it. Be bold. Stand out. Don't be afraid, because you're born with these gifts for a reason. Nobody else. It's not your job to convince other people. <laughs> it's just your job to live your life. Prosperity is coming. You will be successful. It's time to take a look at your life. Are you really happy with the one you're lit with? Are you really happy with what you're doing? Are you happy with where you live? It's time to review what needs to be changed. What can help me feel better? Divine order is at play. Bringing in the things that you need is happening. Could be new work, new love, new life, vitality. Everything's happening the way it's meant to. Fertility, you might be having a baby soon, or you could be pregnant now, they're recognizing that. Out of chaos comes creation. So there's been a lot of chaos over this last year and into this year, but I feel like you're getting a lot of creative thoughts. I would follow them. 
letting go of what doesn't serve you, what doesn't make you happy anymore. Leave it behind. You don't need to bring it with you in your future. The spirit says, fairies and <laughs> spirits are all around you. Law of attraction is at play. You can, you're a powerful manifester. You have gifts. You can manifest whatever you want, but you've got to keep those thoughts positive. Visualize yourself successful. This will help you manifest the spirit is saying. You've got to see it in your mind and believe it in your soul. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Exactly, you're a medium. Up and out. It's time to get up and out of these dark thoughts and what doesn't make you happy. Try, trying to leave them and get up and leave them behind, the spirit is saying. They're eating at your soul. They're taking you further off your path. If you're miserable, if you're not fulfilled, it doesn't serve you. Let it go. Release your anger and frustration. Stop lashing out. Don't let anger overtake you. This is about meditating and being calm and zen. Surrender your ego. You might be, have had a big ego, um, prideful when it comes to person or your job. Not allowing peace to come because you're living in your ego. Surrender obsessive thinking. So you're obsessing about things, whether it's a fight you had, whether it's about a loss of a lover or a loss of a job, loss of income. You're just thinking and putting your attention on all the wrong things the Spirit is saying. Be, feel, receive abundance. Be, live in the moment. Feel what you need to feel. Allow the emotions to come out, but allow your response to be peaceful and within light. It will help attract what you need. Receive abundance. Be open and willing to accept it. Shine love on fear. Fear is a powerful tool if you allow it to be a tool and not a hindrance. Stop letting feel, fear <laughs> rule your life. Shine. Why? Face your fear. Shine the light on it. Look at it in the eye and say, you will not control me anymore. I'm not going to let fear stop me. That's how you take your power back. Time to do it differently. A new order, a new way of doing things is necessary. The map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. You have the free will to make your own choice. But I feel like they are trying to guide you. Follow your inspiration from the inside and your soul and your thoughts and your mind. The metal king, discipline, armor, boundaries. Yeah, put those boundaries against this dark asshole in your life that you think is really good for you but isn't put your armor on for battle protect yourself the winged wise ones angelic help mir miraculous aid yeah you're gonna get help from the divine this could be your help right now but they're stepping in to help you get out of this toxicity and they will help you um, cleanse yourself and your body Caring connections. Work on connections that make you feel good and help them grow. Be with people who uplift you, not try to hurt you or hinder you or make you feel bad. You're, you could be in a contract with a lover, or you could be getting a new contract, you could be getting a new lover, new marriage, um, or you're trying to care for a connection. Could be a new job, they said. A new contract could be a new job. There's a lot of hostilities in your life that you need to cut out. You're being very hostile yourself because you have some deceit. Someone's playing with you, either taking your money, taking your life force, sticking these things on you, lying, cheating, any of that. The world's about to change for you. This is about you standing up and creating that life that you want. It's closing out on some tarot. Page of Cups. Like wanting to make an offer here, but don't feel like you have enough or you're strong enough to do it as what I'm vibing for. Also feeling like you're losing things. Like, see how this is jumping out of the cup? Feeling like people are abandoning you. Jumping ship. Two of Spears. You're either watching somebody from afar and thinking about going towards them or you're making two decisions about work and getting both. So is you like wondering if the grass is greener. You gotta make a decision between two things. Six of Cups. The 
This could be like you're getting some recognition soon or you're going to be recognizing who the traitor in your midst is. You need to start a new journey. Open yourself to spirituality, trust your gifts, and walk away from toxicity, anger, and deceit. Ace of Coins. This is about putting that love and light and attention back into yourself. Not focusing on other people. Not focusing on your anger. Not focusing on your fear. You're the bag, my dear. <laughs> you don't need the you don't need to take the bag from anyone else. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Maybe you're trying to raise the fun to go towards your own happiness, I'm hearing. But this is about also finding your happiness. Going towards your wish fulfillment. It's coming in. They're going to help you get that wish fulfillment. You just have to trust and believe. Sage yourself. Get some crystals. you got some dark ass shit around you. And somebody who you feel is like your good friend or a good lover. Who's just fucking with you and doing spell work on you. I don't know how else to say it. Um, if you need any help, hit me up below. My um, email is unicorn tarot 888 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the link below in the description box. If you need any help with this dark entity, please hit me up. I will help you. This thing is yucky. It could just be a person's energy. It wishing ill on you or you're being personally haunted. Um, I hope that was helpful. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, talk to me in the comments. I appreciate you with all your love and support has helped my channel grow and continues to grow every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I adore you. Love and light and be well out there. Take care of yourself.